What's going on? I'm Brad, this is Despite Fitness. Today uh, we're in the garage to do some, some training. It is Monday, April 11th. Holy shit, we're starting off the week training. I think, I think that probably hasn't happened in, well shit, I don't know, since like November. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure actually, but I, I have found that I've been just real inconsistent and um, got to be better about that. Um, and truth be told, I didn't really want to train today. Um, I was feeling some kind of way, uh, just kind of a crap day. Um, my every effort to do anything productive today was like utterly defeated. So work was hella frustrating. Um, and then the weather's just kind of blah and everything's just kind of blah and I feel kind of blah. And yeah, right? And I, I know there's probably a lot of you that are feeling the same way that I'm feeling, uh, you know, just because that's kind of how it works, right? But um, still want to try to get something done and, and, and uh, lead out on this week in a good week. Now, I did sit down and I did restructure my program quite a lot. So um, I have, sorry, I forget the, the shoddy camera, camera, cameramanship, cameraship, I don't know, videography. Um, so what I did is I, I got a, uh, a planner and I wrote my stuff out in the planner and I've got my stuff all laid out and uh, this calendar goes out to like September time frame and I have all, you know, August uh, to like September all the way planned the way this one works is a little weird. There you go. All the way out into September uh, already written down. Going back, uh, <clears throat> trying to get a little bit more intense. So reintroducing the undulation where kind of in the wake of the heart stuff, I was really just dealing with fives just so I could try to keep in the game and keep lifting and um, keep doing something. Uh, the, the undulation will re, uh, reintroduce singles and triples. So for squat, bench, and deadlift, uh, every week, one of them I'll hit a, a single, one of them I'll hit a triple, and one of them I'll hit a five. And it'll just kind of rotate. Um, and the way I had wrote my program before is I had included stuff for like band work and uh, chain work. But the uh, I never got around to the chains. I always started with the straight bar weight and didn't get so far as to get into the bands with the chains. So this go around, I'm starting with the chains. And since I have 45 uh, pounds of chains per side, so 90 pounds in chains, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that. I'm just gonna have the 90 pounds in chains and then see what my numbers are up to. And then of course I'll be record keeping with the, uh, the planner the whole time. Uh, so I'll run through chains and then I'll run through bands and then I will go straight bar weight and see how everything's going. And hopefully I can stay healthy enough and consistent enough uh, to make it all the way down the road to get to the straight bar weight to see how things are going and progressing. Um, that would be, that'd be super cool. Um, still going to keep up with the running and stuff like that. So the running is going to be important. Got to, got to stay with that. Uh, did some running yesterday when I trained with my man Rory and, uh, it was really the most comfortable running has been since I started running again, <clears throat> which is good. I, I think that's a good sign. So I'm going to get on and do some running on on the treadmill um today here at the house uh and then uh the workout today is going to be uh hat fields um hat field squats plus chain for a single it's going to be a single today uh we're going to do some leg curl we're going to do some leg extension uh got the reverse hyper into place pretty excited about that and then uh some seated row um just for a little bit of back work and stuff like that so i think that that should help get me moving in the right direction. I should have um, some extra time and space today to really dig in and do what I wanna do because uh, I made enough dinner last night where it's basically just leftovers so I don't have to worry about breaking contact and trying to feed everybody. There's enough of a, a, a ground groundwork laid where they can more or less feed themselves. Self-sustaining, yeah. Kids are good when they get to that age. Uh, but before they get to that, that age of being somewhat self-sustaining, it is kind of hard. So for those, those of you going through that, 
I remember that challenge. Um, okay, so having said all that, I think that's the plan. That's what we're gonna do today. Hopefully you guys will stick around, check it out. Uh, if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And um, there'll be a, a bunch of links in the description box below for various ways you can support the channel if you wanna support the channel with more than just your view and your like and potentially your sub if you haven't subbed up yet. Uh, all that helps the channel and I appreciate you guys checking out those links uh, and supporting the channel through those means as well. But enough of the chat, let's do the damn thing. Here we go. Always first at the finish line. First to the plate when it's dinner time. First to escape when this shit goes down and these small fucking clowns finna finish mine. Flow too real, hit him with a rhythm rhyme. Tim song, cause it's cold in the winter time. I'm a ball shit, you know, then I'm finna shine. Got the money in the bank like it's intertwined. Clowns finna finish mine Flow too real, hit him with a rhythm rhyme Tim song, cause it's cold in the winter time I'm a ball shit, you know, then I'm finna shine Got the money in the bank like it's intertwined Okay, I'm sorry. That's a sweaty shirt. Makes for a makes for a dirty camera. Um, apologize about that. Want to wrap up the workout real fast here. It's already nine. I got to start getting kids in bed and, and wrap up the evening and feed myself. Um, today was a great session. I'm very very excited about it, especially in light with with how stressful and you know I mentioned with work and everything else. Like how just generally not a great day today was to be able to come in and and train. That's awesome. In fact, that's actually why I started competing in powerlifting in the first place was that like my success was in my hands, right? It was it was up to me. It wasn't anyone else's uh, fault uh, for me failing or whatever. Um, and so, you know, that, that motto, that theme still kind of carries forward for today, right? It's on me to, to muster and get together and make the thing happen. It's not anyone else's fault if I don't do it. So um, really, really excited with how that went. 
That's, uh, that's the most weight I've had on my back in quite some time. Uh, ended up being a total of 700 pounds, uh, 65 pound bar. So uh, 135, 225, 315, 405, 495, 585, plus, uh, you know, 20 pounds, or I'm sorry, plus another. You know, 20 pounds for the bar, so that is uh, 605, and then uh, the chains are uh, 45 per, so 90, so that's 695 plus the two and a half uh, for a, a cool, a cool 700 uh, at the top. Um, man, that was real, that was real unpleasant to stand under, but I'm I'm glad you know that just the actual loading, the stress, the the feeling of standing up under the weight. All good stuff for, for building up strength. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, I'm gonna wrap it down. I got a little one over here getting impatient and waiting on me. She wants to hang out. Uh, so I love you guys, but I love her way more. Uh, so I'm gonna give her a few minutes before, it's, uh, before the end of the night. Um, yeah, just wanna continue to thank you for your support in the channel and rooting me on and all the, the great comments that people leave all the time uh, and, and just how utterly supportive everyone is. Uh, what it is that I'm doing and I, I just appreciate the, the crap out of that because all of this is in hope to be educational and some measure of motivation uh, for any of you out there if, if only even for one then it was worth it um, you can also continue to support the channel with a few things in the description box below um, you can uh, hit up Spreadshirt and pick up some uh, training spike merch you can check out my Amazon affiliate link and pick up some cool training gear and gadgets and things like that that will help you along your own training journey, uh, as well as um, my Titan affiliate link. So if any of the equipment that I use, uh, you know, the stuff that I've been squatting with, you know, I got my Titan um, monolift arms. So if any of that stuff is of interest to you, or, you know, you're in the market to pick something up, if you use that link, it helps out the channel a great deal. Okay, that's it guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, get in even when you really don't feel like it, and then turn it around and have an amazing session I promise that will never happen if you don't get in and train a spite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue find the way and train despite. That's it, guys. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll see you in the next one. Appreciate you. Peace. She says peace. peace. Say peace, I'm out. Uh, no. Say peace, I'm out. Um, Say peace. Peace. She says peace. All right. Yeah. Hope you guys are well. See you in the next one.